हेलो डियर फ्रेंड देयर इज एन अपडेट फॉर एफिनिटी थ्री नो एफिनिटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट टू इज एवेलेबल फॉर डाउनलोडिंग डियर फ्रेंड इफ यू हैवन डाउनलोडेड दिस अपडेट डाउनलोड दिस इज द न्यू रिलीज आफ्टर दिस अपडेट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एफिनिटी विल बी मोर स्टेबल ऑन योर सिस्टम आई फेस्ड सम प्रॉब्लम सम डेज अगो आई ट्राई टू अप्लाइड सम एफेक्ट इट टी सी आई कूडेंट अप्लाइड प्रोपरली बिकॉज ऑफ द बक्स सो नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड लेटर नोट no just click here and you can start your project from here when you open next time or otherwise you can check here again check for update here now you can see this is an our update and now just click to install here now we are installing affinity 3.0.2 now we are opening affinity 3.0.2 new version here okay and now we are inside affinity here we have already you can see ready made template etc from here intro about affinity you can read intro here import file export file here it is layers it is all tutorial if you want to learn you can read here and we have you can see some ready made templates just click here and you can start working here okay here this is the home this you can see this is the recent if you have any recent project here you will see uh, this is the learn if you want to learn anything my template if you have already your own template it is see which you have created they will appear here and here if you click on favorite all favorite will appear here just click on home and now we are inside affinity here and now here just click here i want to make custom youtube thumbnail dear friend stay in the class it will be very important so we will go through the sum of features of affinity here and we will create a beautiful youtube thumbnail just click here a new no we take this youtube size here 1280 you can just type here and 720 pixel okay everything is okay i put this actual size it's on default i will not touch this color format is a good rgb you can choose according to your need but uh, this is default is the best for most of us if you want transparent background you can just click here artboard if you want to create artboard i don't need this everything is okay you can read here bleed drawing scale we don't need this okay we just click here create document now we have this is youtube thumbnail size here and we come here to you can see here bucket tool here this fill tool means you can fill anything here just click here to i can know it will appear here you see anytime you click here and paint it is see it will appear here you see here all here you you can see you can extend and you can use so we come here we need only color tools now just click here and now we have two here you see this is the colored fill tool we will change the background here and the this is you can see here colored fill tool g here we just click here this will solid gradient you can use bitmap this will fill in the area of your page selection object so i need this only and we just take this color here just select any color and put here you see very easily this is the for gradient most of time we use this for normal so we just click here and we can change anytime we can change here you see when you click here you see extend layer this is the layer this is the channel this is the brushes here this is the stroke on pixel if you want any stroke photo gtc it will appear now we come here you see this is the histogram here all channels here red channels you can select from here blue all channel we need all channel and we just click here extend advanced you can see here panels now we have extra panels here we can choose here you see more panels if you want as we just click from here okay now we come here color and this is the histogram we come to color here you can adjust here everything okay uh, we just select here now we have this is the, our background but we can change the background using uh, gradient shortcut is g you see here this is the first this shortcut is also g but when it's a selected no you can just select here g no you can see g on your keyboard now you have background means we have selected this and now we want to change the background we want to make three colors like you see here we come here just select here and now we come to change the color we just take this this color here okay in the middle just add point just click you can add point easily and now you can make this red you see here red, red color color here and now we come here downside and we have this point here and now we can take something other like this you see 
now we have three color means gradient and we can change like this in this way okay just add point in this way you can make longer bigger smaller lots of points you can add so you can see gradient is solid here in affinity here you can see point here linear you can take various type of hair in gradient gradient i want radial so you can see here we have radial line you just select here and i want to adjust this and not this point i want to make this here in middle so you can see we have gradient so fashionable for our template you see here in this way you can adjust explore and it will be very easy you can change conochial if you want now we have this conochial style you see here you take point here from point you can drag like this you see here in conochial you see here this this point you can make it you can enlarge the red color any color you can enlarge just you see here very minute hair point just line select here now you can enlarge here you see enlarge hello dear friend if this class is useful to you adds value to your life don't forget to subscribe the channel dear friend your one subscription gives me a lots of motivations to make more creative tutorial for you we have to achieve thousand subscriber this year dear friend and i hope you will help me to achieve this target then share this channel to those friends who are actually in the need of such type of tutorial this tutorial may be very useful to your friends without wasting time let's jump into the next step of affinity here and you can add several like point no i want to add some other color again red you can see add red we want to add here this color yellow you can see we have yellow point here in this way you can add fashionable things you can do here now we come here this is a conochial and here you can see mesh tool this is like you see mesh this is the new feature here we go to our last tutorial about mesh tool how to use and you can understand here you see like we can do like this we can change like this here properties here mesh tool so this is the mesh tool and here we have beat map here we have hatch you see hatch property now you can do like this so these are the some advanced thing so if you want to return control z you can return anytime here we have several properties here linear this is the earlier linear here we have and this is a elliptical here you see here we can change like this change color you see here just add point here and now we can take other color here again we have like in this way you can change so if you want to click known it will be known here you see we have known i want this linear it will be linear again i want to return control z just click so we are now here on conochial okay we just take conochial here okay this color we can change anytime color here now we come here in conochial we add this color okay so you can see we have fashionable conochial try on your in this way we can do now select here this shortcut is a v just click v and we have selected this and now we can take any stock footage come here to our desktop here now you can see we have several photo i want to remove the background we just drag any photo to our affinity here and now we can make it a smaller size of photo is very big and you can drag like this make it smaller you can see here now just control scroll up and down you can make it bigger or smaller shift you can see left right you can move left right and we come here you can see here we have background is very bad my old dresses are here in my balcony i want to remove this background for my youtube thumbnail we just come here and you can see we need to search here selection tools you see here just click first first second third line here you see here this is selection tool in selection tool these are the three ai feature object selection tool selection brush tool we just take this object selection tool and uh, click here on this photo alt select alt and click here so you can see it has selected all this very easily and now very easily we can remove the background now come here to layers here in layers you can see here mask layers very easily you can mark here here you can see now we have marks layer and control d to deselect control plus d now we have deselected and v here select now you can move anywhere i want to put here you see here no i have put here now let's see how to use selection brush tool come here 
in the same here you see object selection tool and just click here and now we have this selection brush tool so this is also ai feature it's a totally free so let's see we have this affinity logo here and i want to use here this selection brush tool you see here corner here white corner i want to remove this so just click here now selection brush tool here no just place here anywhere you see here you see it's a selecting so it has so far selected uh, we need only this so we select only this point here you see here here there are so many settings it's the same like affinity photo here and you can add uh, you can add and uh, you can subtract if you want to add anything it will add now we just click here now it has added here 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 you see now i want to just remove this corner so come here and click subtract here you see here subtract just click no i want to subtract this means i want to remove you see i want to remove this corner okay here this corner you can apply on any photo here this corner so you can see we have no applied here and now we come to refine here remove background in selection click here it's the same like affinity photo setting here mask we have to mask and click here to apply and you can see we have removed the white edge here at control plus d to unselect and now you can put anywhere i want to put here now let's see how to use the artistic text tool which we used in affinity photo designer and publisher you see this is a frame text tool it will use for adding several sentences it's a good for publisher means uh, layout we come here to artistic text tool and we just make a box here like you can drag like this and now i want to type here affinity three point zero point two and you can make it smaller like this you see a smaller shift and scroll up down you can left right you can move shift on your keyboard and on mouse scroll up and down update i want to type here update first i want to make it smaller like this way and i type here update here okay you can see here and you can make it uh, like in this way you see here in this way you can make it a smaller bigger like this in left right in a pretty photo it was good that we could select any portion here no it's going equally you see it's uh, enlarging equally so i don't like such i want to use like this one side i want to drag to fit but it's uh, still not available in affinity but in affinity photo it was good we come here and from here we can use color you see now we can change the color it is see here any color you can take for example i want to use here something red here you see red we come here and add point red here you see just come here and add you see this is a selection tool set background and uh, this is the four foreground up here this is the foreground on upside this is the background just click on background you can change any color you see i am taking this color so in this way we can change here now come here to histogram you see we have this slider you can use this slider i always use this slider it's a very convenient and you can change color here you see here like this way you can change color here here there are the various slider you, you can use box for color okay and hue saturation you can lightness saturation you can add here it will be lightness you see hue it's a hue I just add saturation. No, it's very like saturation here. And from here, tint. Now we have tint here setting like tint. Okay. We come here and we use this slide. So in this way, you can change the color it is see from here. Once you come here and you can add the font for any font, come here and select any font from here. Okay. I just put in default. And from here, you can add bold, narrow bold italic i use this black now i select all and come here layer effect in layer effect i want to add 3d effects you see inner effect inner glow outland and these are the advanced setting you can change anytime close here now i want to take this red okay red is good so you can see in this way you can add here in histogram come here and you can change outer stroke here you see outer stroke i want to add this outer stroke here and you can add background from here you see here okay and from here you can add plus minus you can make any of the letter bigger or smaller from here you can make you see i'm making it smaller 
and I adjust it like this. Okay, we have highlighted this. Now come here to color. In color, I take this foreground. Okay, now we have white and we can expand this. Now this is we have wheel. We can use wheel. If you want, you can change from here. From here, now we have here outer stroke. You see from here, you can add outer stroke. For example, I take this and come here, add a rectangle here. Now we have selected outer stroke and we can change outer stroke. From here, we have added outer stroke. You see, outer. I want to add something, this outer stroke, and you can change position from here. See here. You see here. In this way, you can add outer stroke to your letter like this. Outer stroke is in sky navy color and we can change color we take only red we take only white so we have white color here you see outer stroke if you don't need outer stroke just come here and just drag this to zero pt okay now we have without outer stroke so in this way you can change it. we have adjusted text here so in the advanced class we will add more write me which type of tutorial you need you want about affinity photo here so we have layer here you see here pixel layer we have this text affinity png here we have here text and now we have created a youtube thumbnail here okay for exporting come here to export here you see export and now just click here in export you can add location from here ask for location and select only all document come here in document you can change resolution anytime from here you see here lock you can lock here here we can take png jpg for youtube thumbnail i use this png okay so you can anytime change this all the formats and once it's okay now you can export png now from here you can choose on your computer your folder where you want to export and save and it will be exported now we are on the affinity uh, website and you can see release note of uh, version 3.0.2 this article lists the key improvement and bug fixes include in this version for example canva ai generative expand tool now uses the last crop tool ratio canva ai colorize could be slow so you can see here for window users these are the bug fixes etc and here improvements update and then learn how to start in affinity here so you can read one by one okay hello dear friend we have learned about the basic how to make a youtube thumbnail in the next class we will learn how we can add adjustment layer etc and we can use this filters saturation hue black and white you see all the settings color balance etc stay connected to the channels and don't forget to subscribe dear friend practice and write me in the comment box how is your experience about affinity which type of creativity you have created in affinity don't forget to write we meet in the next class take care bye